Good morning, Scorpios. Good morning, everyone. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. I am back. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. Hope you guys, we can start it off pretty well. And I hope you guys are doing okay during this Mercury retrograde. I can say I'm actually feeling better, guys, for my cold. It's clear up. I took some medicine and I am feeling okay. Thank God, because, woo, guys, I couldn't breathe. I could barely sleep. And my body was just going through it. So, I am back to bring you guys another general message. I'm not sure what's going to come out. So, definitely only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. All right, so keep in mind, guys, that I'm open and available for personal readings. So if you are interested in having a personal reading, uh, the link for my website will be down in my description box, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Spirit, angels, and guys, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me bless the cards first. I want to make sure I bring positive energy to you guys. Holy Spirit, Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Metatron, I welcome you into my home and into this reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages from the universe for my fellow Scorpios. Please return back any evil eye, witchcraft, anyone that's sending any type of negative energy my way towards my home, my channel, or my Scorpio family. Return it back to sender tenfold so more to be amen and amen okay so all right scorpios let's get this message going spirit angels and guys show me what i need to see for scorpio what's going on with the scorpio's energy oh okay so these two cards flipped out we have storm warning and toxic relationship oh wow so there's someone that's going through some drama in a toxic relationship. This can be physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Whatever is going on in this toxic relationship, it's, it could be fighting. There's a lot of misunderstandings. Someone is kind of like codependent on the other person for maybe emotional support, financial support. But there is something going on here. Toxic relationship and storm warning. So yeah, there's definitely a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot of emotions flying all over the place obstacles and challenges definitely some drama okay all right so this can be someone within your energy or this can be you guys maybe you're going through a very toxic situation right now okay all right so what is causing this storm in this relationship what's causing this upheaval the troubling energy let's see all right <clears throat> let's clarify some more Spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about storm warning and toxic relationship. What is going on here? Looks like someone is actually going through a tower moment in a relationship. Wow. And I hope this is not any of you guys. If so, definitely, you know, get out of anything that is a lot of fighting, physical altercation. Please remove yourself as well, okay? All right. So why is the storm warning and toxic relationship here? Oh, okay. All right, so we got a message that fell on the floor. We have mental exhaustion. So some of you guys are just tired. You're tired of the arguing. You're tired of the fighting, you know, the misunderstandings. You're tired of this person triggering you or them triggering you or you triggering them. And you're tired. You're mentally exhausted with all of this that's going on. Okay. We have train wreck. Oh, goodness. Yeah, whatever the situation is that you have going on in love. Things are really falling apart. It's bad here mentally. It has you drained. You feel like a train wreck. This person is a train wreck. This whole relationship is a train wreck here. Oh, wow. So give me one more. Tell me more. What else is going on here with Scorpio? It's almost to the point like you feel emotionally drained. Not just mental, but I'm getting someone here is emotional drain. Someone could be taking baths and just wishing, wishing that all of this just go away. They're not understanding why is this happening. How did they get themselves caught up in this situation? Wow. 
This is giving me a very low vibrational energy. This is not a loving relationship. Wow. Tell me more spirit angels and guides. Yeah, you are tired of the arguing, the trauma. You're fed up with it here. All right, let's pull a card. All right, so we have gossiping here. Hmm. There may be people talking about this situation, how you guys have maybe a toxic relationship, family, friends, coworkers. You know, for some reason I'm getting, someone here is getting abused in a relationship and there's people that are talking. Hmm. Talking about how much of a wreck this relationship is, how it's always trauma. So this is the one situation I'm picking up on here. All right, what else do we have? Oh, wow. We have guilt, remorse, and regret. So a lot of you guys are regretting getting into this relationship. Maybe you didn't think that this was going to go far, far as it did. You may be dealing with the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you're having a toxic relationship with, okay? All right, guys. So let's dive a little deeper. Let's see what else is going on. And of course, if this is your story, make sure that you comment down below. Share the video to anyone that you feel may need a little bit more clarity as to why this is going on from this reading. Who is a Scorpio? I have Scorpio in their chart. Okay. All right, Spirit. Tell me more. Yeah, I, I'm sensing that a lot of people are talking behind the scenes about how toxic this relationship is. How there's so much trauma and, you know, the foundation that you guys have is not stable. It's always trauma. You feel like you've been faced with an obstacle. It seems like someone is trying to get out of this. But people are talking. It's making you feel regretful, feel embarrassed. You're tired mentally. Sometimes people can see your exhaustion. Even if you don't show it physically, you can see mentally with someone that they're really going through it. Tell me more, Spirit, about the situation. Clarify gossiping. Why is gossiping here? Clarify gossiping. Thank you. Three of Cups. This is who's gossiping. Friends, family, anyone that you're close to that you share your time and energy with. These are the people that are talking. Tell me more. Gossiping. Oh, 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 oh. Clarify gossiping. Now, also, you could be talking to your friends about the things that you're going through, possibly when you go out or when you get a chance to be out with friends and family, possibly over some drinks, some food, talking about the situation. Page of Cups. I'm here. I just heard you talk about how someone is very childish. You may also be a little emotional when you talk about this with family and friends. Mm. It seems like someone... Or these group of people are giving you some type of sincere apology. Three of Cups and Page of Cups is water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person you could be dealing with could be another water sign. Hmm. You may be also telling friends and family how this person just keeps apologizing to you. Trying to give you some type of offer. Expression of love to you. But I'm getting some of you guys may be a little emotional when you're talking. Because that three plus that one is four of cups. I'm getting like you're tired. You're tired of the apologies. I'm sorry. Back and forth. Over and over. You're just tired of that. It's always an apology after a fight. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Just like I said. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Swords in reverse. You're opening up to family, friends, anyone that's willing to hear you out. You're opening up to them. You're kind of getting out of your head. It helps you get out of your head by talking to others. Wow. We have the star here. You open up about how you're wanting to heal yourself. You're trying to stay positive. You know, you're praying, sending prayers up, hoping that a blessing comes down. Wow. Some of you guys may be thinking about turning your back on this lover. Turning your back on someone you felt like was a twin flame. Because I'm getting, you may not love this person anymore. All you can do is think about the good times. It's like the love is not there. You don't feel loved for some of you. Hmm. You guys may even have children together with that Six of Cups. But whatever it is, is wearing you out. You're just ready to leave. You're ready to walk away. Get remorse and regret. Showing up again. Five of cups. You're ready to leave. Leave everything you invested. Your time, your energy, feelings, emotions. Even I love you. You don't even feel that way anymore. You're tired. You're over it. You're over it. Yeah, three of pentacles. You're getting together with family, friends. You may even be talking about it at work, on your lunch break. 
you know, maybe you're thinking about getting some help, some type of counseling. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Tell me about guilt, remorse, and regret. Why is that here? And of course, take what resonates with you. What doesn't? Tell me about guilt, remorse, and regret. Hang on, guys. Clarify guilt, remorse, and regret. Clarify guilt, remorse, and regret. Thank you. Wow. We have the Empress. The Empress is in the reverse. I don't know why. I just got here that someone may regret having children with this person. Because I picked up something about children. With the Empress being in reverse, you are regretting giving your care, your kindness, your open heart to someone. You, I'm getting, even with the Empress being in reverse, that can be a karmic female or someone who's low vibrational, but I don't feel like that in this reading. This Empress is tired of loving, giving, being helpful, being fruitful to whoever this relationship is. You're tired of nurturing something that is dead. You regret giving your loving energy. You feel guilty for being such a good hearted person. It's almost turning you away. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. And I just look at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. You went from this Empress in the upright to this Queen of Swords. It's like now you feel hurt. You feel damaged. You're just being very clear and direct when it comes to how you feel, what you're thinking, how they hurt you. You turned on this person. This person turns you into someone that you didn't want to be. Even though you're you're still operating out of your divine feminine, divine masculine energy for my fellows, this is the Emperor in the reverse, and this will be the King of Swords. You are not that sweet, loving, kind lady or guy anymore. It's like now your words cut deep. Like you're beginning to be, it may come off as being mean, you know? But see, this is your way of protecting yourself for pentacles. You're protecting yourself. You're holding back that loving energy. You're tired. You're mentally exhausted of this toxic relationship. All right. What is guilt, remorse, and regret? Give me one more. Thank you. Look at there. Emperor. So we have emperor to the empress. Thank you, spirit. Mom and daddy, husband and wife. Yeah. Wow. Some of you guys could even regret even, like I said, having children. You regret marrying this man or woman. It's like you, it, I'm hit something about like emasculate. And I hope this is not it because I know that's not the right thing to do. But I'm getting like there's a female that started to emasculate her man now. Because of this toxic relationship, because of the drama. For my fellas, you are being more stern with your energy. Yeah, because the lovers and page of pentacles is here. Four of cups, yeah. It's like, even if they're wanting to come back and say, hey, can we start over? Can we fix what we're broken? Can we start from scratch? You know, can I bring you a gift? You know, can I do anything to make up to you? Can I try to make you feel better? You're like, no. Four of cups, you're like, no, I'm tired. I'm tired. You're opening up to this person, let them know that you want to just separate. Four swords. you rather to separate. You need a break from them. You need a break. And you're now allowing the universe to intervene into this relationship because now you're choosing. It's like you're trying to figure out, is this really my twin flame? Hmm. Even though you may have felt like you guys were on the same page with the twin flame card, the lovers, you may be dealing with a Gemini. You may feel like this was your yin to your yang. This was going to be an everlasting love. But now... You're in this energy of, I regret marrying this person. I regret being with this person. I regret having a child with this person. See, the thing is, everyone is off brand. It's like one person is standing in their divine truth. The other is acting like a karmic, very needy, always needs something. This is someone who's codependent. And that's why that toxic relationship is here. It's like someone is codependent on you. This can be male or female, you know? Wow. All right, tell me about... Toxic relationship and storm warning. What else is going on here? It's like you guys are not in a line with each other anymore. It's not there. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Page of Swords. Huh. Tell me more. 
two of swords. Okay, so. This seems like it was some drama about something online. I don't know if you found out something online. Page of Swords and Two of Swords. So, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I, it seems like something came out of some drama started online. That seemed like where it started at. That's not going to be for every one of you guys. But how it became in this type of relationship. It's almost like someone forced you to block someone or block someone on social media. Or it's something like that. Because of how toxic this relationship is, it's to the point also with the two of swords, like you didn't see this coming. It was blind. This this kind of started off like a sweet relationship and then things just turned is what I'm getting. You didn't see this toxic energy coming where it will turn into someone being in the Empress in reverse, like they're codependent on your energy. They need all of your attention. It's like you trigger something within this person. That's why I said you're like the opposite of this person. Hmm. Hold on. You could have met this person online. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this this fighting is 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 almost too much. There you go, Scorpio, Death Card, and Ten of Wands. This relationship, whatever the drama is, it's weighing heavy on you. It's a little too much, and you feel so unstable. You feel unbalanced to the point that you're ready to end this. You did. I keep hearing you didn't see this coming. You were blindsided to someone's true colors. Yeah, someone, one of you guys, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you met someone online and you were blindsided to them being a toxic person or didn't realize that they were codependent. It's like the foundation didn't start off right from the beginning. And yeah, yeah. And now it's too much and you're ready to end this. Yeah. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You ready to cut this person out of your life now and pull back and turn your back on this situation? See, you're taking action to go ahead and close this door with someone you felt like was your twin flame or you guys had some type of union together. Yeah, see, King of Swords. So both of you guys are in the energy of everyone is trying to speak their truth or everyone is being stern and being logical. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Five of Wands. It's a lot of fighting going on. Too much fighting. Everyone got something to say. Everyone has the last word. It's almost like a never-ending story. Yeah, two of pentacles. Things are too hot and cold in and out. It's always a fight between you and this person. And you did not, listen, you did not see this coming. Wow. Someone here is stubborn. It's like they're set in their ways, possibly by the way they was raised or how they did other relationships. But see, well, they didn't know that you were a chosen one. You were a star seed here. And they try to get away with, it, it seems like someone here just came into this being very manipulative from the beginning. And you did not see this coming. Yep, Spirit said that's the truth. I know what I feel here, guys. Yeah, someone already had in their mind how they was going to treat this. Yep. Ace of Swords is here. Yeah. So this, this came at you, you kind of became blindsided to this person's true intentions. And you're realizing this person is a train wreck and it puts you in the energy of being a train wreck to the point they're projecting their energy onto you. And now you became toxic. And now you got people talking about you online. Oh, God. Wow. So I feel like this person is this empress in the reverse. They came in already needing you for something, already had triggers, unhealed wounds, childhood issues. Possibly, I'm hearing mommy, mommy issues for, for a lot of them. And you're regretting dealing with this person. Jeez, Christ. Whew. This person could be a Libra, Taurus, possibly um, Aquarius, Gemini. Wow. All right, y'all. This is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, comment down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.